Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. So I'm doing a quick maniology unboxing haul. Just some stuff that I ordered recently. Um, I think everything is Halloween related. So I got a new sticker. Hair up, sunny's on, nails on point. Really cute. This will go up on my desk. I um, also got the... new Halloween stamping plate holder. It has eight pages. It holds two plates per page, so 16 total. Really cute. I really like the skull with the bows. So that'll hold some of my new stamping plates. And let's see what else I got. Do I have some plates? So I really prefer using the half size scraper cards and I like the they're basic ones with the maniology that comes in like starter kits and things um, let me see if I can find one real quick so you know what I'm talking about all right so here we go so these are good but they're a little thinner and flimsier the seasonal cards are here's an older seasonal card I have. They're thicker and they're not as, um, they're a little bit stiffer. So that's why I prefer them. And these are super cute. The Halloween theme ones this year. Um, some pumpkins, some Halloween treats, another pumpkin. And then this one is really cute. So I really like these. So um, whenever they have the seasonal half cards, I tend to Always pick them up. At least I try to now. And what is I don't know. Oh. Did I order this? <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to myself because I, I didn't think I ordered this much stuff. I thought I only ordered a couple things and um there's things in here that I didn't realize I had. So this says limited edition Halloween ice cube stamper. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, so it's uh, just there every year, I think. You know, for different holidays, they release a new um, limited time stamper. And this is this year's Halloween one. Really cute. Halloween cap and half scraper card with that as well. And this, I believe, is just smudge free top coat. Yeah. Because, as you all know, I've been using the same bottle for two and a half years or something crazy like that. And I bought the refill bottles a couple months ago. Um, but I didn't want to put it in the bottle because it was all gooey. And then I tried to clean my bottle out. And I don't know what happened, but it turned hard as a rock inside. And I could not get it out even with shaken acetone in it. There was like a white rock like blob in the bottom. So I had to throw it away. So I ordered a new bottle so I can use this and then refill it. And hopefully I don't have the same problem. All right, let's see what plates I got. I think they're all Halloween. So this is plate oop, M510. And then let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see some of those images. I'm gonna move the light to the side a little bit. Really? Really cute images. Okay, so that's plate 510. I really like this fall plate. It's, um, I think it's all pumpkins and jack o' lantern faces, maybe. Yeah. This is plate M520. Goodness, you can do so much with this. I really like these pumpkins and uh, yes, really like that one. Okay, and then we have 
plate 519. So, oh, this is the voodoo one. <laughs> yeah. Um, 519. I'm looking at the thing. It's called Hella, Hella Voodoo. All the pins and needles, the stitches, and then you can do the multi layered, like, um, vo different voodoo dolls on top of the, the image. I think it's cute how they give, like, different ones. Oh, and then they give you some, like, other little features right here as well. These are cute. Some really cute stuff. This one was called Pumpkin Patch. And the other one was just called Trick or Treat. Okay, so since I kind of, I was playing with some dip that I have from CN Designer Dips on Etsy. I love their dips. I did this glitter dip and you can see the maple leaf. It's these beautiful fall colors. Oh, let me bring my light back over so you can see better, more clearly. I did the um, gel method. So instead of using um, dip liquids, I just used gel base coat and you do the pour, you pour over and then I kind of place some of the bigger pieces how I wanted it. And then I did two thick coats of um, gel top coat to seal it in and so you can't feel any of that glitter. So I thought the pumpkin patch plate would kind of go nicely with it and be pretty simple. So I got out a couple colors that I thought might go. I have this kind of shimmery metallic. It's B481, but I don't know the actual color because the sticker fell off. And then I wasn't sure about this one. This is Chrysanthemum B302. And then I also pulled out Chonk B512, but that's one that's a little bit lighter. So it was kind of in between these, so I'm not really sure. We'll see. And of course, I got straight up black. Bam white, sticky base, and my new smudge free top coat. So uh, let's just play a little bit. I was just going to kind of do it on my nails just to play around. Let's see. For my thumb, I think. My I don't know why I didn't order more black and white when I placed this order. I didn't know this was being delivered today. I thought it was tomorrow. Not that I'm complaining, but so I didn't really think I'd be doing this right now. But I'm never sad about um, nail stamping. Give me one second, I'm kind of like all over the place, but I want to put on a cuticle guard because that all over image will get pretty messy. These things are so finicky. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm struggling. Okay, there we go. I mean, I got it like pulled really tight, but it's gonna have to work. It's not perfect, but oh. There we go. So it's just these like nail protectors. I think I got these on Amazon probably, but, um, and these are kind of thin and flimsy, but the maniology ones are really good, but I only have two of these other two or yeah, two left after this little cheapo one. So I figured I would just, um, keep that. All right, let me get a brush. And up 
palette. Or something to use as a palette. Okay, that has to dry. And let's do pick up something else while we're waiting. Maybe this little one. Oh my goodness, I don't have another stamper ready. But that still worked well. Okay. done this but I wasn't really sure what I was doing so I didn't so the big stamp is gonna go on my thumb this one is gonna go on this finger when it's dry let's see how this goes on as just a polish I'm really bad at painting my nails and not messing them up I think it goes pretty well. I'm kind of rethinking this now. Because I'm like, is that going to be weird for... Just a solid white nail? Yeah, I think that's going to be weird. That's okay. I'm going to paint this on here. Okay. I think that white one is dry. But now I've changed my mind, so I think I'm going to do this on top.
this glitter would have looked probably really good over this color. That's a really pretty color though, right? Let's go ahead and do the pumpkins. I think I got the tackiness correct this time. Okay. So there's the pumpkins. It's gonna look better once I top coated some of those bumps and stuff will go away. I wonder if I can get this stamp on. Oh, it did smudge. It kind of wrinkled the polish a bit. Hmm. Interesting. Trying to pat that down a little bit. Okay. So you can still see some of that wrinkling because I stamped when the polish was still a little bit too wet. Um, but overall, I think this is a really pretty fall look. I love this kind of bronzy orange color, and it goes with that dip powder I used. Yeah, so let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you're notified of future uploads. Thanks for watching. Bye.